I have no more campaigns to run. My only agenda I know because I won both of them. Um, President Obama Tuesday night showing he still has some spark during the State of the Union address in a statement that became the overall top tweet of the night. Welcome to your Wednesday lunch break, everyone. I'm Tanya Rivero. Here to tell us about the other top social media moments of the State of the Union is Spread Fast Chief Marketing Officer Jim Rudden. Jim, thanks so much for being with us. Thanks for having me. So that comment by President Obama pretty much hit it out of the ballpark, that tweet. What were some of the other top tweets of the night? Yeah, he sure did. Uh, one of the other top tweets came from President Obama as well, and it was about marriage equality. Uh, and so that, that got 22,000 retweets. Uh, over on the GOP side as well, Rand Paul's commentary about waving a magic wand at education was also a winner with 6,000 retweets. Now, what were some of the top hashtags related to policy during the State of the Union? That's always so interesting to see what people are really concerned about. Yeah, on the policy side, uh, act on climate hashtag was the clear winner, nearly a quarter of all policy conversations about that. Uh, but there were some others as well. So raise the wage on minimum wage, uh, love is love about marriage equality. Again, America leads uh, on innovation and education equal pay for men and women, and then uh, free community college, again, about education were the other policy winners. The stuff people are buzzing about. Now, this year we saw an increase in tweets sent during the State of the Union. Tell us a little bit about that, because does it mean more people were watching or just that more people watching are now on Twitter? <laughs> well, uh, we'll get the numbers on TuneIn from, from the networks, but from a, a social media perspective, definitely up 6% year over year. We went over a million tweets this year. Um, I think the other interesting thing is beyond the 140 characters of Twitter, you saw a lot of innovation around uh, Vine videos, Twitter town halls, microsites, real-time fact-checking. Uh, so lots of content, lots of innovation and content around the conversation, around the speech this year. All right, now, according to the data, the conversation peaked around 10 o'clock with a large increase from this same time last year. What was happening at that time? And why is that a significant year-over-year -year difference? Yeah, 10.08 is when the, the president delivered his zinger about winning both campaigns. Uh, Twitter sure loves a fight. So uh, that, was, that was the peak, up 23 percent year-over-year. I think another interesting point is, is that peak comes towards the end of his speech, almost at the very, you know, towards the very end. Um, so people are staying tuned. Compared to last year, the, the peak engagement was around 947, so earlier in the speech. So, you know, with a, with a speech filled with so much policy information, you have an audience that's really staying engaged throughout. Yeah, he was holding their attention. Now, President Obama did also give a shout out to one social media platform, but it wasn't Twitter. Who was it and what was he referring to? Yeah, Instagram got the shout out. Uh, he, he looked up to uh, Scott Kelly at NASA and asked him to be sure to inst Instagram his time uh, in space is going to be up there for about a year. I think just a good example of how pervasive social media is in, in our culture these days. Absolutely. Now, looking at the big picture, who was the big winner on social media last night? Was it the White House? How did the GOP opposition fare there? You actually saw two very different strategies at play there. From, a, from an overall tweets and retweets perspective, I think you'd have to say that the White House really knocked it out of the park. Um, they had quite a bit of, they had their hashtags ahead of time. They had quite a bit of content on microsites that was updating live uh, as the speech progressed. That content ended up being some of the most shared content out, out uh, during the entire time of the State of the Union. Um, so they really shaped the conversation. GOP was much more responsive. Um, their base was engaged, uh, but, but following the conversation and, and talking into some of the hashtags from the White House. So uh, two very different strategies at play there, but I think you have to look at the, the volume and the execution of the White House and, and give them a tip of the hat. The White House social media team on the ball there. All right. Thank you, Jim, for that. Thank you for having me. Look forward to talking again soon.